Petit from Dude Food. How many times are you going to say hi? I'm just, no, <laughs> that's no, too much. That's too much. Right there. Until something strikes my fancy. What is this, Teletubbies? Hi. Yes. <laughs> this is all B roll. All right, yes. goodbye. Good night, guys. Yes. I'm going home. Hey, right, hamster. I'm just playing. All right. <laughs> One for the hamster. <laughs> this is Uncle Dickie's hat. It's hunting cap. Hunting cap? Mm -hmm. cap? And mm -hmm. Arabis glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we keep him under lock and key. He's a good boy. Yeah. He's registered. He's a good boy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, hey, welcome to another fine edition of Dude Food. The four of us reunited once again. We just had Thanksgiving. So, well, you guys had Thanksgiving, I did. Um, what, what do you do in Great Britain? We don't have Thanksgiving. No, do you have, like, something? have something, right? Uh, you guys do wherever, something? Wherever we, wherever, whatever we want. Whatever we want to do. Fair enough. Okay. Well, we do Thanksgiving here because some pilgrims landed on a rock somewhere and ate with some Indians, right? Yeah. That's the deal. Cornucopias and corn and turkeys and stuff, right? Yeah. All right. That's American, right? I mean, yeah, it's absolutely. pretty, you know, you're, you're, like, you're from Great Britain. You didn't celebrate. So here on Dude Food, I wanted to stick to the American theme. Nasty purity. We, these colors don't run. We've often said that. We support our troops and we love this country. USA. Right. USA. 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 USA, USA. USA. It's ROH it's always started over here. <laughs> but anyways, always there to buy. We're all allies so now. So staying with the American theme, I want to make a basic cheeseburger and take it to levels you boys have never seen. Make it completely different than whatever you're used to. Cheeseburgers. All right. I'm not making the 495 double cheeseburger at the Whack Arnold's down the street. I'm gonna make you a burger that you know you could get like 25 bucks at a restaurant for. We're gonna nice. do it right now. Let's get started. I remember last time I was here, you made that fine steak. That was delicious. But um, I have a confession to make you guys. I've um, I've never eaten a hamburger before. What? No. I, I never never really had one. You're kidding me. Never had a hamburger. No. A patty. I know you two grew. You two guys grew up, right? And your your parents adopt him or something like that. No. I met him a year and a half ago. Yeah, but I'm still saying, he's. you've known him longer than anybody here. Absolutely. So, never a hamburger. Never a hamburger. We've never, he, we, when we hang out, never. we've never. Never even a hamburger made out of you know, filet mignon? Like no, no. Filet mignon? No. Nothing. Wow. No. All right, hey, bacon. You boys see that? Look at that. Bacon. A staple. Yes. <laughs> we got bacon there, ground beef. Can't make a hamburger without ground beef. Garlic always comes into play. We got some cheese, lettuce, some other stuff, tomatoes, onions, mushrooms. All of it's going to get used. All of it's going to come into play. G, I want you to do me a favor. What's up, buddy? You got that grill started for me out there? Oh, yeah. Put those oh, on the grill. All right. All right, get it. those started on the grill. Come on, baby. I'm going to take the rest of this stuff. Make sure to wash your hands after you come back in here. Dave. And we're going to cut it up. First, E. coli. And the fine little cubes here. Like so. I hate cutting bacon on TV because it's a pain in the freaking ass. I always say it. This is the second time because the first time I was like, yeah, you should freeze it. This is the second time I've done it and I still clearly cannot fucking freeze the goddamn bacon. But anyways. There's a technique to it. Yeah, there's a technique to it. You got to kind of freeze it so it's easier to cut. Mean, man. Yeah, exactly. And this is greasy meat, so I'm not really used to that. Tony, help me out here. You're a power top. What? <laughs> All right, pan, nice and hot, bacon. Gonna go in there, hear the sizzle. Oh, it's a beautiful sound. Get it going. All right, we're gonna cook this down. In the meantime, we're gonna start on some onion here. Set, go. All right, so we're gonna cut a little onion to go into our bacon there. We're gonna do probably about a half. Get all this garbage off. Like, like so, all right. And then, I've done it before, I'm going to do it again. A fine walk up around the moon. Right there. Alright, and then just a fine dice. You crying yet? Nah. Sometimes onions affect me, sometimes they don't. A little tip is actually, if you've got one that's bothering you, put it in the uh, freezer for a few minutes. It'll freeze up the juices in there and it'll stop you from crying. All right, also, gonna do some mushrooms as a topping. 
So let's get some of these bad boys going. I like them whole. You know how to be. You gotta be chefing up the bacon on the grill, baby. Look at this. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Nice and slow. A little slow roll it. If I can keep them organized. I'm learning. I'm learning from the great Yoda, Johnny B. I'm telling you that right now. All right, hey, look at that. Gold and brown. It's starting to get crispy. Just what I want. That's what I'm gonna dump in. Those onions and some garlic I chopped up. We're going to dump those in, sweat those onions out, get those nice and soft, and get this going. What this is, is what I'm actually going to add to the ground beef before I make my said hamburger patty. So we're going to let these cook, and in the meantime, I'll have you come over here, follow me, we'll make a little dressing. I got some ranch dressing, all right? I'm going to take some scallions. We're just going to do a fine chop on those scallions. Boom, 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 boom. See? Yeah, scallions. Onion family, Tony. You'll love it. Forget about it. I like it a lot. It gives an oniony flavor. That's what we're going for here. We're going to take that, drop that right in there. All right, a little tarragon. You know I dig it. As always, garlic powder. Uh, we'll use a little pepper. Yeah, why not? All right. And a little leave parents. Boom. Pick a fork there. Oh, you're going to give me a spoon. Oh, you're killing me. Sorry about that, Johnny. That's all right. That's all right. Boom. The cameraman just pointed at something over here, and I just gave him a spoon. So now, basically, we got a nice little sauce for our buns, gentlemen. See how the onions are almost translucent? Let them keep going. That bacon's perfect. That's all perfect. All right, bacon, onions, cooked, drain them, cool them. That they right there, that whole little mess. Delicious Get beef. your beef, right? Add that right in there. Get it all in there. Look at all that grease. No, that's, look, look at all that grease I just saved you from that's digesting. That's flavor, that's not look at all grease. That. Yeah, G will eat that, that, that paper towel right there. Napkin. Yeah, that's <laughs> perfect. So, awesome. There we go fiber. right there. All right. Yeah, well, you're getting fiber from the paper. A little bit of this, not too much. We don't want to make it too wet. That's we're all about out. making it. Are we it. supposed to make it wet? Yeah, we're, spo we're supposed yeah. to. You know what I mean? I, I you hear you. in the meat. You, you got to make it wet, but you get that when you get it when you get it all hot. You don't want to make it wet ahead of time. You got to get it hot first. So we're going to put this on the grill, and then it'll get hot. More pepper. See the thing? There, and then just get in there and manhand it. And don't be afraid. Just You know what I mean? Wash your hands properly. Safety first. As we always say, but basically mix this all together and get that going. And that is our hamburger mix. We can start forming little patties, if you will. Boom, put your meat on a counter. All right. Form it like so. Cut. Oh, oh, hey, oh, wow. And then go the other way, right? Boom, now you got. Greatest cut in you Okay, that's a little small right there, so we'll. Even it out, distribute it, and then just roll it into a ball. It's just simple stuff, you know what I mean? You learn this in kindergarten, playing with Play-Doh, all right? Just roll it into a ball, and then mash it out to a burger, all right? Boom. There we go. One. Done deal. All right. Pan. Clean. Nice. Hot. Butter. Maybe a tablespoon. We're going to go ahead and add all them onions. Onions. <laughs> there you go, Johnny. See? That's why you shouldn't drink in the kitchen, but anyways. <laughs> Those are the right mushrooms. Yes, these would be mushrooms. Yes. All right, so put your mushrooms in there. We're going to get them going. You should know by now. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder. As always, we're going to cook these down, simmer them down, and then right before they're done, flash them with a little beer. And that's going to be a topping for our steaks. I'm not going to add salt. Salt will draw the water out of these, so I want to season them and sear them first. And we'll come check these in a little bit. Let's get these burgers on the grill. Hot grill, good friends, burgers. Beer. Beer. Can't so beat get it. your grill nice, hot. We want to get color on these things. And then just go ahead and slap them on the barbie. All the beautiful 
sizzle. All right. That was a weak Australian accent, Johnny. Hey, do I look like Paul Hogan? <laughs> it's your gig. It ain't oh, that shrimp either. What the you had in the in the kitchen there, buddy? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna cook these, all right? Probably about three, three and a half minutes on each side. You know, give or take how you like it. I like it medium rare, a little blood, and I know what I'm doing. This is a 93.7 beef, so there's not a lot of fat in there. That's, That's one of the flavor. reasons why I added the bacon to it. So, you know, use your head, eat properly. Consuming raw items can cause serious squirts, okay? So I'm just giving you a word of advice. If you like it really raw, buy more toilet paper. That's all there is to it. So, any questions, boys? Huh? Nothing? How long, how Come in your multicolored got? demon you. Hey, I got, I got a rock all spectrum. Look at the man. color palette this guy's rocking today. Uh, ain't no rainbow you look like colors. a beastie boy. And ain't no yeah. rainbow colors, to tell you that right yeah. now. Between, I don't know what's, what's better, your color palette or the rapist glasses. It's probably a column eight. Wee, wee, Once again, wee, another, wee, another, wee. another rapist referral on the glasses. <laughs> yes. It's going to be all night. Hope you guys are ready. Yes. <laughs> And the power toppage. Looks well, like you're ready for the Tour de France G spot with those glasses. It's all right, man. It's sort of like an oxymoron, though. Boston, New York. It just doesn't seem right, even though the Celtics that's why, do that's why, own any other that's team why in the I league. rocked the Giants outfit to try to, because, I mean, hey, Boston's only good for a few things. Stupid oh, harem. Harem. Tour de France. So, gee, did Lance Armstrong Strong give you any advice? A couple. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, how to be better uh, aerodynamics and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I ain't willing to go that far. Got to keep the baby gravy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hi. Look at Do you see it? That is the stash. And this is the Jay Vister telling you a few little things. Things you need to know. Things you need to understand. Things you need to listen, contemplate, think about, sleep over, do whatever you gotta do, but get it in your head. Watch your TV, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Website, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. I just fucked that all, but either way, they're all here, they're all doing their thing, and this stash is all day. All day. I, I, I love, I love you. Mushrooms going, add a little beer. All right, I already added another a dose about like that. Add a little bit more. So now you got some juices in there. We're gonna cook those juices down to almost nothing to give them a little even more flavor. We're gonna add a little bit of this bouillon mix, beef bouillon, beef gravy. We're using a hamburger, that's a beef. So there you go, we'll get this going. I could've gave you some Scottish yogurt to put in there, Johnny. Yeah, but I didn't have it, so. No, I have it. We went with the rock. You smell what I'm cooking, Tony? I smell it. All right, let this cook down. Burgers are still going. Let's go give those a flip. Okay, you ready? All right, these look like they're ready for a flip. Oh, there you go. Good grill color on them bad boys. <laughs> I'm studying Johnny V right now like a research paper. Just to see how this stuff works. Oh, this is easy stuff. Hopefully the magic of editing can show that in slow motion, those flips, my man. Oh, yeah. This is all new to me, people. This is totally new to me. Oh, yeah. We're going to do your right, Tony. Don't worry. This is dude food all American. Yes, this is all American dude food. All American dude food. Cheeseburger was actually somewhat invented around the 1920s, somewhere in New York. It's a big speculation. The hamburger goes back ages, you know what I mean? But the cheeseburger in America. Well, I've that's been doing what we're my making research. Feel your beef. You remember, feel your beef. These are almost ready. So you ever wonder what that rack above your grill is? It's so you don't keep the food in direct contact. You basically turn it into an oven. You set your temperature to low, all the way around. Close the lid, let it go. About another minute and a half and we're going to be ready. All right, since the burgers are almost done, mushrooms cooking, I need tomatoes for the said burger that I'm doing. So you're just going to do a nice slice if your knife goes through it. Beautiful tomatoes. Look at that. Tomato, tomato, no matter how you say it. Tomato. Tomato. Oh, you got British on us there for a second. Yep. 
it took me a, lo a long, long time to lose the accent. 14 years in American school, American private school, and really, uh, go. really changes your tone of speech. Oh, I hear you. So there we go. We got some tomatoes. I might do up one more here just to be safe. American, all-American. My version of an all-American burger has some form of mayonnaise or a dressing like we're doing today. Tomatoes, lettuce, maybe some onion, but I'm probably going to leave it off. And we're doing the mushrooms as a side topping for those that might want that. So there we go. Look, see? No more juice. No more juice. You know what that means? It evaporated, it concentrated, it infused in to said mushrooms. And these are basically perfect and ready to be added on top of a burger if you wish. You don't have to. We're going to do two without and two with. Those are basically done and ready to go. Burger's going. You feel them? Touch your meat. Touch your meat. Love your meat. All right, we're going to add some cheese. I'm actually going with Monterey Jack today. A little jalapeno pepper in there. Does that scare you, Tony? Choice. Does that scare you? I like, I like cheese with flavor. That one's on the ground. And Gee, can you, you drop grab me another your cheese. One? Yep. Yes. That has no innuendo in it, does it? No. You drop cheese. your cheese. At least no. I didn't cut the cheese. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? This, this came pre-sliced. Okay. <laughs> I mean, plus it's dude food. That's that's like there's like a 38 second rule. So, gee, you can still grab that and eat it if you want. You probably would, would you? Oh. Eat it. Oh, I'm eat trying it. to save my appetite for one of these burgers it's pressure. right now. I don't want it. Oh, you gonna you gonna tempt me like that? Well, give it to an animal. If you shot. eat that right now, G Spot, I will not never be your friend again. Give that's it to right. an animal. Give it to an animal. Yeah, some deer will have the squirts for the next three days. <laughs> We're gonna be backed great. up one of the two. That cheese was amazing, but oh. <laughs> I'm running out of rabbits to wipe my ass with. <laughs> All right, so anyways, cheese on, shut the lid. Give it about another minute, minute and a half for that cheese to melt, and they are done. Take them off. All right, we're actually going to shut this off at this point. Turn it all off. Let it sit. The heat in there will melt that cheese. Oh, there we go. Melted cheese. These things are ready to go. All right. So take them off. We'll go back inside and put together couple different ways to do this. Hey, here we go. Nice big seeded buns. You could toast these if you want. Yeah, I know. Buns. I said it, boys. I Always said remember it. Remember to squeeze the buns. All right, we're going to do two different kinds here. We'll do one. We'll do a little bit of this on there. Just a little. Not a lot. You don't need this to be the thing. It's just a little bit. All right, burger on there. Burger on there. All right, now one. We'll throw some mushrooms on. Use your hands, I guess, because that's not going to stay on there any other way. Okay, boom, like so. Take a little piece of lettuce that we got over here. You follow me so far, Tony? Anything intimidating you, uh, Mr. Lot, never? Eh, lots, but... Lots. I cannot believe you've never had a hamburger. All your time. I mean, I know British Columbia, that whole nine yards. British Columbia? Brit well, yeah. <laughs> you are Canadian, right? <laughs> You are Canadian, right? That was the uh, whole thing. That was the province in the western uh, part of Canada. I am from Great Britain, the mainland, the motherland. I'm sorry. Get that right. And you know what? And, and for that little, uh, that, that little bad remark, I think I should design my own uh, hamburger. You could. I think I could. You'd I have, think you'd I have, a, you'd have like soy proteins and like goat's mayonnaise and goat's mayonnaise. It'd be, a, it'd be a wonderful ride. Wow. All right, so there you go. Bacon on that one. Wow. Lettuce, tomato, all right, top it, there you go, boom, two different kinds of burgers, quick, easy, and simple, I'm not going to cut through that bad boy, boom, see that, all right, and we'll go over here, cut this mushroom one up, boom, there you go, all right, quick, easy as pie, I'm going to get frisky, I'm going to get frisky, so anyways, there's another dirt oh, food, it right, the dude food was the consensus. I know you couldn't eat it. Could not get you to you eat. Crazy, I'm not gonna touch that. You you don't like hamburgers, so you've got a uh, you know notwithstanding. I thought it was pretty good. I did my research. Yeah, it's all right. I did. It was I did my. It's all right. You guys thought it was delicious. I did my research and I was like, eh. You're not I'll a fan see. of the ground meat. Mm, you like the whole meat. It's a touch. It's texture. Over 12 inches. Give this man a hot dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he will eat hot dogs. Maybe I'll do a kicked up hot dog for you. But I saw Nigene and he he was like, dude. 
Extra mayonnaise. That dude loves mayonnaise. Can't stand mayonnaise. No, he loved mayonnaise. Now come on. That's why I went with the dressing. I went with the went... dressing and I went with light dressing. Yeah, he, 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 he had it. He was like oozing. He was. Oh, it was disgusting. <laughs> I always think. No, you I thought I, 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 I. It wasn't mayonnaise. Yeah, it wasn't mayonnaise. You know what? It was I, 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 ex- I expected. I expected more than you. Honestly, when I when I make a, a burger, I As almost prefer not to have anything on it. The burger itself should be the focus, and that's why I put the bacon and the onions in there. I really didn't want to put anything at all. But traditionally, American cheeseburgers have mayonnaise, tomatoes, lettuce, onion, and you know pickles. That's just basically how it goes in America. But I just did my version tonight, and that's the way it is. So, for the uh, the rapist, denies <laughs> cheese pie, Johnny V. This has been doing food. Bon appetit till next week. I <laughs> was... <laughs>